Le cinquième groupe de patrouilles des Rangers canadiens a récemment effectué l'exercice Brisons les préjugés à Terre-Neuve. Il s'agissait du premier exercice du genre quand seules les femmes y participaient. L'exercice a donné aux participantes l'occasion de mettre en pratique la compétence unique des Rangers canadiens. De plus, des conférencières invitées ont parlé de leur expérience en tant que femmes au sein de l'équipe de la Défense. Aujourd'hui, deux personnes se joignent à nous. La principale responsable de la planification de l'exercice, la capitaine Jan Marie Gill, et une des instructrices qui ont animé l'exercice, la caporale Natasha Schroeder. Caporal Schroeder, quelles sont les compétences et les connaissances acquises par les Rangers canadiens dans le cadre de cet exercice? We worked on lightings of stoves and lanterns, how to properly use GPSs, radio procedures, as well as map and compass, uh, creating shelters using materials that you find in the woods, uh, setting up a BIV site, as well as our new latrine system that we have for all, all the Rangers out in the field to use and have a little bit more privacy in the field. Um, backing on that, we talked about hygiene for women in the field because exercises are awfully led by men. That's not something that's usually talked about. So being able to discuss with them what to do when they're menstruating, how to use a menstrual cup, um, it was really eye-opening for a lot of people and it was a really fun discussion to have. Capitaine Gill, pouvez-vous nous dire pourquoi les exercices auxquels participent uniquement des femmes, euh, comme l'exercice prison les préjugés, sont bénéfiques pour les personnes concernées et pour l'ensemble des forces armées canadiennes? Um, the benefit of this exercise was to give women in the Canadian Rangers and the Junior Canadian Rangers the opportunity to come together um, to showcase their skills and knowledge that they have. Um, we want to provide a, an environment that... Um, where they felt supported and comfortable being able to openly talk to one another about their concerns and their issues that they may have had. Um, this gave them the knowledge that their, their voice was being heard, um, their concerns are being taken back to the command team, and that they were the victors of change because due to this process, we are already seeing some of the changes that they had requested happening within 5CRPG. Caporal Schroeder, y a-t-il un aspect ou l'autre de l'exercice qui vous a surprise? Uh, seeing the camaraderie between all of the Rangers, uh, Canadian Rangers as well as Junior Canadian Rangers, and watching them help each other and teach each other the skills. Uh, there was no egos in the exercise at all. Everybody left that at the door. and somebody had a question, uh, the time was taken to answer them so that everybody left learning those skills and nobody left in the dark. And listening to the women in the military, that have been in for 20 to 30 years and hearing how this was the first time in their career that they were in a room full of women um, was absolutely amazing. It has me so hopeful and so excited for the future of the Canadian military. Et Capitaine Gill, c'est à vous que revient le mot de la fin. Y a-t-il autre chose que vous aimeriez souligner au sujet de l'exercice prison les préjugés? Um, this was such an awesome experience for me and my team back at 5CRPG because um, it gave us the chance to um, share our knowledge and our skills um, for those to step up and to be a mentor to the newer Rangers out there and our younger junior Canadian Rangers. Um, and it also, um, for those that attended, gave them the opportunity to set up this networking system that they now have someone who they can contact that understands their concerns so, and that they will be supported if they do make a call to, to one of us. Merci à vous deux d'avoir échangé avec nous aujourd'hui. Thank you. You're welcome.